today we'll be talking about something that I know many people are struggling with, comparisons. I think especially as women, there are a lot of women out there, or just, you know, all of us in general, that um, compare ourselves to one another. And I've heard this phrase constantly in my life that I hate. Many people always tell me, oh, Joyce, I want to be like you. Joyce, I want to be like you. And you know what? Tell you the truth. I hate it. I hate it when people say that. Guys, stop comparing yourselves. You are so precious and unique and phenomenal in your own way. And comparison really is the stealer of joy. I don't know why you need to feel you feel the need to compare yourself. You're phenomenal and incredible in every single way. And when people compare themselves to me, I hate it. I hate it because all I'm doing is being myself. And I want people to know out there, all you need to do is be yourself. You don't need to start saying, oh, I wish I was like, hey, no. All of these people that you're comparing yourself to, they're just being themselves. They're just being unique. Then there's no magic formula. If you really want to be happy in life, I believe the happiest way to be yourself in life is to just, I believe the, the best way and the cheapest way to be happy in life is to be yourself. And the quickest way to be depressed in life is to stop being yourself. Stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing yourself. Because if you really sit down and analyze it, everyone's background, environment, you know, parental style, if you really think about it, the way we grew up, where we grew up, how we grew up, our background, even the way our brains are wired, our genetics, but all so different. So comparing yourself is just going to make you depressed because the person that you're comparing yourself to, the truth of the matter is you're never going to be like them. So why don't you just say, say, hey, you know what? I choose to love myself now. I choose to appreciate myself now because let me tell you the truth for your entire life you're stuck in this body no let's deep it it's only you me myself and i so why not start to live your best life now and start to appreciate and your love love yourself now the earlier you the earlier you start the better you need to stop comparing yourself stop saying things oh i wish i was like her i wish when people say that, Joyce, I wish I was like you, I wish I was like you, I don't just wake up every day. Oh, you know, like, I am Joyce, this is me. But I've also worked very, very hard, with the help of God, to be where I am right now in life. So, stop comparing yourself. You don't need to. You don't need to. So, instead of comparing yourself, why not start to tell yourself, you know what? I accept myself for who I am. You are perfect the way you are. You don't need to be like anyone else. So learn to discover more of you. Learn to be your own best friend. Discover what you like. Discover your character. What, what ticks you off? What, what do you like? What makes you happy? Learn more about yourself. Because again, you've only got you in this life. Do you know what I mean? When you go to bed at night, it's you. When you wake up in the morning, it's you. You're stuck in this body. So why don't you make the best of it? Because you can sit there for 50 years and say, I want to be like that person. You'll never be like that person. You will have wasted 60 years of your life wanting to be like someone else, whilst that person you're comparing yourself to has already moved on. So live your best life now. Learn to love yourself. Stop comparing yourself. All right? You know what? I'll tell you some secrets and some tips on how to start comparing yourself. Number one, learn to love you. Learn to love you. How do you love yourself? By treating yourself with respect. If you don't love yourself here, you can't give it out. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people that just give hate, that just spread hate out. And you know what I've realized with people like that? They don't really love themselves. Oh, there's something deeper going on in the inside. Show me someone who loves themselves. And what I've come to find, people who love themselves, they give love out. Learn to love you. And I think there are no more excuses. Like, there are social media, there's magazines. Anytime I see a magazine or a beautiful woman, I don't compare myself. 
I celebrate that. I say, God, that woman is beautiful. And God, thank you for this woman's beauty. Learn to start comparing yourself. Another tip, do what makes you happy. Is it going to the park? Is it buying new clothes? Is it reading a book? Learn to love you. Self-love is not hitting yourself in the head and forcing yourself, oh, I wanna love myself, love myself, love myself. Nah, that's not how you do it. The cheapest way to love yourself in life is to start telling yourself beautiful things. What do you tell yourself when you look in the mirror? Do you wake up every day and say you're ugly? Or do you wake up every day and say, you know what, I love you. I love you. I love you and appreciate you. I'm made for greatness. I'm here for great things. Start to speak good things to yourself. Because what you put out there comes back to you. That's the way life works. There's no special, there's no trick. It's the way it is. You reap what you sow. How do you talk to yourself? If you keep on prophesying negative things about your life, you're gonna have a negative life. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest. Because let me tell you something. When I used to be really negative, right, and just tell myself negative things, what I realized, it just makes you depressed. But once I started to tell myself things like I'm beautiful, I'm strong, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna be great, I am successful, I'm healthy, those things started to, started to become a reality in my life. And look at me now. Many people who said mean things to me in the past, who bullied me in the past, I just kept focusing, kept on telling myself good things. Look at me now. They're the same people that are asking me, Joyce, how do you do it? So stop comparing yourself. You are amazing the way you are. Learn to love yourself because you do not want to be at the point or the end of your life when it's time for God to call you home and sit there and say, wow, look at all this time I wasted to compare myself to people. No, you want to sit there and say, you know what? I live the good life speaking well to myself because your words become your reality. They really do. You want to know the most successful people in this world. You want to know the difference between them and someone who is not successful. It's their mind and it's what they say to themselves. If you keep on saying to yourself that you're going to be poor, don't be surprised, darling, if you, if, if, if you become poor. But if you keep on saying to yourself, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm rich, best believe that's going to happen. So this right here, this is, this is gold, your mouth. This is gold. You don't need a special elixir or spell. Uh -uh. God has given you this great thing right here. It's called your tongue. And what you say is so powerful. So are you gonna continue saying mean things to yourself? Are you gonna say are you go, are you gonna say good things? Seriously, because at my fans, I don't want you to speak negative things about yourself. Let me tell you something. We're all made in the in, we're all made in the beautiful image of God. So if we're all made in the image of God, when you're speaking negative things to yourself, you're basically saying it about God. But when you speak positive things to yourself, you're also speaking positive things to God. Because you are made in the image of God. So, stop comparing yourself, okay? Love yourself. Do what makes you happy. And keep on going. If you're like, Joyce, it's not happening yet. Keep on going. Keep on going until you see changes in your life. It might not happen overnight. You know, Rome wasn't built on a day, but you got to keep on going. Keep on going. I remember when I was doing all these things, speaking positive things, people were laughing at me. Look at me now. Let me tell you something, from my age, I'm doing very, very, very well, very well, just because of how I think and what I've spoken over my life. So I'm letting you know, it doesn't matter what your age is. Start speaking positive things upon your life. Start shaping your life with your tongue, which will eventually become your thoughts, which will in turn, and turn into your actions. Life is not complicated. It's actually really simple, but I think a lot of people make it more complicated than it needs to be. Stop comparing yourself. You're amazing the way you are. And if you don't believe that, no one else is gonna believe it. Honest to God, that's the truth. And I have learned in my life that even God is not responsible for that because God wants me to learn to get up and also do it by myself. He's helping me, he's there, but he gave me this. Stop comparing yourself. You are phenomenal the way
where you are, all right? Many people have told me things, oh, I can't do it. I don't think you can do this. Oh, you'll never be nothing. What did I do? I didn't retaliate. I just kept on speaking positive things all of my life. And look at me now, baby. Doing mighty well, okay? More well than I ever expected. And when you're saying those positive things in your life, watch God even do more in your lives. Look at that yourself. Stop it, okay? After this video today, you need to promise yourself, I promise to never speak a negative word about my life or myself ever again. Watch your life change. Watch. 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 Watch it change. You've only got one life on earth. Do you not think to yourself, hey, I want to live my best life. You don't live your best life by being reckless and ruining it. You live your best life truly by walking in love, by being kind to yourself. If you don't fix this, you can't even give better out. If you don't fix this right here, you can't even give good out. It won't, it's impossible. It's impossible. But if you start to work on this, start to get yourself right, anything that you produce out will be beautiful. But if it's corrupt here, anything else out will be corrupt. So I want my fans to stop comparing themselves. All right? So from this day forward, you better say, see, so I choose and I promise to myself to never compare myself ever again. Because you're amazing the way you are. All right? No, a little encouragement. Stop comparing yourself. You're amazing, okay? I love and appreciate you all. Thank you guys for all the support, for, for everything that you're doing. And um, keep on going. Um, and you, you know, keep on going, never give up, stay in school, work hard, and follow your dreams and keep on going. Keep God first. I love you all. Bye. And remember, be kind.